you're looking at a portion of the Gettysburg Battlefield. This is the same general area that the photographs came from that you saw earlier. The dark black areas are part of the elevation data. This is a raster image. The blue lines are streams on the battlefield. The green lines represent the park's boundaries. And the yellow and brown represent elevation. This area on the battlefield is a ridge line that the Union troops occupied. The highest area is known as Round Top, and the next highest area is known as Little Round Top. And what we want to do is zoom into the area of Little Round Top, which was occupied by Union troops during the battle. So we'll get our zoom tool and we'll zoom into a general area about like so. The Union troops ran along this ridge line, not occupying Round Top at the moment of, that we're looking at at the battle, and the Confederate troops were in the lower area to the front and trying to come between the two highest elevation points there. So we're drawing there for you so you can see what was going on. And what we want to do here is develop a line of sight to see what could be seen by it the defenders on the top of the hill and what could be seen by those attacking from the bottom of the hill. And we're going to zoom in just a little bit more so that it makes it a little bit easier to see of just the little round top area. All right, we've now zoomed in. You can see I've already brought in the 3D Analyst toolbar and we're going to use this tool here that says create line of sight and notice there's this little toolbox that comes up here and we're going to put the height of the observer we happen to be working in feet so I'm going to put about 5.5 feet in and the height of the target we'll put in about 4 feet once those data points have been added we can just sort of move it out of our way. We're going to select the starting point of the observer and then the ending point, what were they looking at? The areas that look green are what could be seen. And this is very similar look to what that photograph was looking from the top of the hill out into the valley in an area known as Devil's Den. So that's what was seen there. You can see where it's green. Basically, everything can be seen. The few red spots are the things that cannot be seen. We're going to take a line sort of parallel to that, just a little bit offset, and start here where the attackers were. And we're going to start that as our starting point, and now go well beyond the top of the hill. You can see the attackers now could see basically up to the troops on the top of the hill with the same height offsets as we did already before. But once you get to the top of the rise, you can see that they couldn't tell anything what was over the top of the rise. They didn't know how many troops were coming up the back side where the defenders could see everything that was coming towards them. So you can see how elevation and line of sight plays an important role in understanding a Civil War battlefield. Let's do another one of these type of calculations. Over here um, on Round Top, we had an area which was an observation post. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to pan up a little bit to find where Round Top is. There it is. We'll just move up a little bit more and maybe a little bit over to the side. One of the things that the Confederate Army did, it used these little valleys to move its troops through. And by using these little valleys, they assumed that they were obscured because of the hills around the valleys. But let's check and see if that's truly the case. So we know during part of the day, there was an observation post 
on round top. And let's say it had an offset of maybe 30 feet. It may have been more than that, maybe a little bit less than that, but let's assume about 30 feet. So if that's our starting point where I'm going to click my cursor, let's take a look up through the stream valley and see, can we see what's going up through that stream valley? And as you can see, yes, we can see almost everything going from that stream valley. If we do another point up this way, and you again can see the Union troops knew the Confederate troops were coming, and it was not a surprise, which the Confederates had hoped for. So doing a line of sight is fairly easy. You must have a raster image that has elevation data with it. And then you click on the third button here, and you create a line of sight, and then you give it any offsets. Remember, zero being looking along the edge of the ground, and we don't want to be doing that. So we have to give it a height offset of where somebody's eyes is at. And then the initial point we click on is the observer's point. The final point we click on is the point we want to observe. And what we see in red cannot be seen by the observer. What we see in green is areas that could be seen by the observer. So we've developed what is visible through a line of sight. 